Hey everyone, okay, so here's a roundup of the best blushes and highlighters. Bear in mind that it's only a limited video, so in the description bar below is a whole host of blushes ranging from the lowest price right the way up to the highest price of products. I'm gonna show you my favorite here. The first ones I'm gonna start off with are in a palette, which is the Z palette, and these are Make Atelier Paris. These are the artistic eyeshadows that can be doubled up as blushes, gorgeous colors, inexpensive, and absolutely beautiful on the skin, highly pigmented as well. Makeup Forever Aqua Creams look like this. They're really cool, they're waterproof, they can be used on the eyes, the lips, and the face, so it makes a multi-purpose, which is wonderful. I'll tell you a beautiful product if you're a lady of color is Aztec Gold, which is by Ben Nye um, Lumiere Luxe Powder will highlight your face like nothing before and can be used as a highlighter for other areas of the face as well. If you've got fair skin, try Ultra Bright by Ben Nye. is like crushed diamonds, it's amazing. HD Blush by Makeup Forever is still a very, very good cream blush if you're looking for that kind of dewy effect. You're looking for a highlighter, the Makeup Forever Up Light is also incredibly good and gives that kind of dewy effect. I'm not a fan of liquid highlighters, but it's still a good one. Um, also good is the HD blush from Make Tilly Paris, a wonderful blush, and this is in Narcissist, this is 07 by Tom Ford, is incredibly pigmented, has a universal appeal due to its colour, so it will suit every skin tone, and is absolutely one of the most ridiculously pigmented blushes I've ever seen. Great highlighter are Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks, come in a whole myriad of shades, so there's something for everybody, can be used as highlighters, can be used as blusher and can be used as eyeshadow. So really, really good. The best one by Bobbi Brown was part of the Miami collection, which is a shimmer cheek glow, which looks like this. This is the gold version and it is, oh, I love it. Breaks my heart when this goes. It's tiny, tiny bits of ultra fine glitter that look amazing on the skin. Kevin O'Croix, the creamy glow. This is in Tresabelle, I believe and it's a beautiful, beautiful cream blush. Blends really well with the fingers or a damp sponge. Of course, Holy Grail highlighter is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Eyes, cheeks, Cupid's bow, down the bridge of the nose, eyeshadow, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, YSL blusher. This comes in a little packet here. It contains four grams of product. And this is in Radiant Blush, if you're wondering what the shade is goes on really beautifully and leaves a sheen on the cheeks that does not resemble shimmer. So it looks absolutely beautiful. A great highlighter is by um, Shine On by Makeup Forever. Brilliant, brilliant compact. This one is in number three, which I think is actually the best of all the shades. But if you're deeper skin tone, there is a shade for you also. Uh, Claudia Raz Blusher, which is this middle shade. Mineral blushes, these go on beautifully. They leave a sheen to the skin with no shimmer in sight, but the skin will glow. Beautiful. Kevin Aqua powder blushes are absolutely amazing. They're very, very pigmented. You need a very light hand. This one's in natural, and it is, it's a bit like Madly by NARS, but better. Really nice. Can be used as a bronzer for very light skin tones or a highlighter for deeper skin tones. And last but not least, is of course Miss Liberty, which is a blusher stroke highlighter by NARS. All the NARS eyeshadow uh, blushes are great as well, but this one takes pride in place because of the way it infuses color with, well, transparency of glitter without any form of color on the skin. It is gorgeous. And that is my list. Video is coming now. Thanks for watching, bye bye. And inside the, the eyelid itself, don't worry about any mistakes. Now I'm doing the mascara. This white. Hey everyone. Okay, so this is the look that we're going for, which is cut.